Today, we're going to be taking a look at 10 different ways to utilize AI and chat GPT in order to get you more sales, more leads, more visibility, utilizing these creative ways. Today, I see a lot of videos talking about chat GPT and just utilizing it as like a writing software, but I don't see any videos talking about the application of it, of how we use it to make more money online. And that's what this video is all about. I'm going to be showing you 10 different methods so that you'll be able to utilize this free tool to either help you get more sales or to be able to help you make more money. Let's begin. Number one would be to monetize utilizing affiliate marketing by literally answering questions that people have out there. If you think about it, right now, there's a ton of people asking questions about anything and everything under the sun. And the place that they always go to, that would be Quora. So every day, people are asking questions about a specific topic, whether it's marketing, whether it's fitness. And depending on the product that you want to sell, even if you have no product, you could literally take a look at, say, let's say you want to sell a keto supplement, whether it is on Amazon as an affiliate, whether it is a digital product. So let's take a look at like the number one, the questions that's being asked about the keto diet, okay? So let's say the first the result over here is like, how can I lose 30 pounds without exercise, okay? Now, what can I do? I can literally take this question over here. Now remember, it could be anything. I can put this inside chat GPT, right? and put the question that people are asking. This could be about back pain. This could be about lead generation. So take a look at this, right? You actually get a pretty well thought out reply. It's like, it's not recommended to lose weight with an exercise, right? As exercise is an important part of weight loss plan. So if I wanted a more in-depth. So sometimes it requires you to be a little bit more specific or to change the angle of the way the question is being asked. Okay, so notice now it's like, give me an in-depth answer losing 30 pounds with minimum exercise. So it's like, it says, you know, it's, it's not healthy to lose 30 pounds with minimal exercise. It's an important part of the weight loss program. Now in order to lose it in a healthy way. So notice now there's like a thought process to it. And now I'm steering it to like, here are some general tips to losing weight, including, you know, balanced diet, intake, hydration, physical activities. But now because of the way my question is being phrased, Okay, rather than saying, how can I lose 30 pounds without exercise? Like, give me an in-depth answer to losing 30 pounds with minimum exercise. Notice how from not having a reply to now having a pretty decent, well thought out reply. And guess what? The first method of utilizing this software um, is to be able to help people with their questions on Quora. But guess what? This is when you can actually link it to an affiliate product. So this could be a, fit, an, a physical product that's being sold on Amazon. In this case here, if it's a keto supplement, or if this could be a digital product on a weight loss program, or this could be a software if it's in marketing. But now it's the possibilities are endless. And that brings us to number two. Number two would be caption writing. There's a huge demand for people, for social media managers to write captions for posts. The amazing thing about ChatGPT is I could type in like, Social media post with my Lambo humble <laughs> bragging. Let's see what happens. Okay, so this is where with AI, you got to like create the context. So this would be help me write an Instagram caption with my Lambo humble brag. Another day, another Lambo ride, hashtag blessed. Right, is that amazing? Like feeling like a boss in my Lamborghini. Hashtag move This Lamborghini is just one of perks of working hard. Oh man, I love this thing already. Living the dream with my Lamborghini. My my Lamborghini is the ultimate status in the West. Right. So, and it even advises you, like, hey, <laughs> you know, sometimes it could be seen as insincere and arrogant. So one of the things to reconsider is that there are times when you might not get the result that you want, but it's all about creating the context for the AI. Like the AI has the answer. You just got to be able to phrase it the right way. So can you imagine if you took on a role as like a social media manager, you know, writing captions, but this is how you can get help with with writer's block and also utilizing different angles and hooks which brings us to the next one. 
The next one is number three would be Facebook ads. Whether you are running ads for yourself, for your own business to get more leads, or you could even do this as a done for you service for somebody else. So let's try it out. So this would be like, write me a Facebook ad selling to people on why they should hire me to run their Facebook ads. So let me just check it out one more time. Write me a Facebook ad selling to people and why they should hire me to run their Facebook ads. Attention business owners, are you struggling to advertise your products or service? Let me help you with my expertise in creating engaging Facebook ads. I can help you reach your target audience with, and drive more sales. With a proven track record, I work with you and da 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 da. Don't miss out on hire me to take this out. Well, I would give this ad a three out of 10. And, and it's not because this open AI doesn't know how to write it, but because again, it's context. So let's rephrase that. So this would be like, write me a witty, that's an extra keyword in here, Facebook ad on why Facebook ads are important and why they should hire me to write Facebook ads. So notice now it's like, run an attention business, right? Are you tired of your Facebook ads falling flat and failing to reach your target audience? It's time to hire a pro, right? With a quick wit and expertise in writing engaging Facebook ads, I can help you, yada, yada. Now, it could also be, if I want it to be elaborated, Right? I can literally take this here again. Remember, it's all about context. I'm gonna add in the keyword elaborated. Let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, business owners, are you fed up with your Facebook ads failing and capture your target audience time to level up? Uh, but don't just take my word for it. The press line approach, I'll work closely with you to develop strategic and face. Uh, uh, don't miss out the benefits of well run. How you mean, right? Okay, so. This, again, you know, slightly better, but it's not there yet, like five out of 10. So you'll notice that sometimes you need to be able to give them the context and constantly keep adding more layers to it. So this could be, write me and witty elaborated Facebook ads. Okay, so notice what I'm doing right now. I'm just like, write me a witty Facebook ad, how to deal with rising ad costs. So I'm adding this thing. So here now it's like, there's this, there's more education to this ad rather than saying, you know, attention business owner. So now it's like this ad post says, are you feeling the pinch of rising Facebook ad costs? Like, don't worry. So no, notice now the hook's better, right? This is another great way. And, and remember, this is just the start of this entire platform, this entire technology, okay? Facebook ads. Which brings us to number four, and that would be engaging title ideas that you can use either for blog posts or YouTube video ideas. So this would be like, give me 10, blog post ideas on how AI will change the world, for example, okay? So, so now it's like, it's just getting ideas, different angles, different hooks, okay? So perhaps if you wanna be able to service a done for you client where they wanna be able to get, you know, different engaging hooks or titles, blog post ideas, YouTube title ideas, right? So now it's like, I've got all these different angles and hooks that could fuel an ad angle. It could be a video, it could be a blog post, but now I can take like literally one of these things here and that brings us to number six. I can have the bot write a full fledge, right? Give me a full fledge in depth answer. Or, or blog posts to the role of AI in improving and advancing renewable energy technology. Okay, let's see what happens, right? Um, the role of AI in improving and advancing renewable energy, right? Um, renewable energy as yada yada with a range of innovative solutions, right? And then it's like one of the key challenges is the intermittent nature of many sources such as wind and solar. Now notice what's happening over here, right? It's like, again, it's context because I said in depth, blog post um, to the title, notice how the AI is just churning out content based on what I have, you know, put in here. Um, I'm pretty sure that right, right now, because like it, it, it's new, but eventually I'm pretty sure if it's like, write me a PhD, right? On renewable energy technology, we'll probably get there in like 10 years or so. Okay, 
But this is how you'll be able to create content on the go, help you, give you ideas. This could be for your clients, for yourselves, when it comes to content marketing. And that brings us to number six, which would be tutorial creations. You think about whatever product you wanna promote. So again, whether it's your product, whether you're gonna sell somebody else's software as an affiliate, people need tutorials to understand how to use something better, okay? So if it's marketing, this could be like, explain five different ways to reduce Facebook cost per lead. There you go, right, tutorial, right? So imagine if you had a blog post or a video, like literally I could create a video where the video title is five ways to reduce cost per lead and I'm literally utilizing these points over here which is target your ads more effectively, use an ad scheduler, right? Utilize compelling copy and visuals. Number four, utilize retargeting to show ads. Right? For all you know, right now, this video is actually scripted by an AI. Right? You'll not be able to tell the difference. Right? So now it's like tutorials. Think about, can you utilize tutorials to attract and convert audiences by educating them first in order to promote that specific offer? And number seven is to be able to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you're enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate if, number one, just comment below, let me know for the algorithm, let me know what are your favorite uh, strategies that you're discovering over here. Um, and as always, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you wanna be able to get more videos just like this one the moment it drops. But number seven is explaining complicated concepts. When it comes to every single market, there's probably a complicated terminology, right? And here's the thing that ChatGPT can do really well. So for example, I could say, explain the concept of genetic engineering. Now, you notice how it says, is the process of manipulating an organism's DNA, it changes characteristics, yada, yada, yada. But if I wanted to make it easier for my audience to understand this, here's what I can do. Explain the concept of genetic engineering as if I'm talking to a 10-year-old. Let's see what happens. Okay, much better, right? It's a way of changing the genes. Notice like we took out the words DNA to give it new traits. We can make the plants grow in dry areas or to make medicine to make people feel better, right? Um, so notice how it really dumbs it down. I wonder if we can actually do this. Explain the concept of genetic engineering the way Donald Trump would do it. Genetic engineering is a tremendous thing, folks. It's really tremendous. We're talking about making the best genes, the strongest genes, the genes that will make America great again. With genetic engineering, we can create the crops that can grow in any conditions, animals that can resist disease, and medicine that will cure anything. It's going to be great, believe me. And we're going to do that to make sure that we keep America safe by keeping this technology out of the hands of our enemies. It's gonna be huge. Pretty awesome, okay? And that brings us to number eight. Lots of times people are looking out there on Upwork to think about getting help with their presentations, okay? Now this is a huge market. Now you could literally type in, create an in-depth presentation for my TED Talk on why we are living in a simulation. Create an in-depth presentation for my TED Talk on why we are living, maybe the AI is a little bit confused over here. They'll be like, this is a pretty interesting <laughs> topic. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, as it's processing this. Um, oh, thank you for helping me ask, you know, helping you. Um, Oh man, okay, so let's try that again. You can do better, okay. Um, wow, there you go. Like this open AI is so self-aware um, that it can actually say, you know, I won't be able to help you provide an in-depth topic that we might be living. However, here is some general information and ideas, okay. Um, you know, living in a simulation has been popular in science fiction. Um, philosophy, right? Um, and now it goes on to to give me like the simulation argument, which was first proposed, which was proposed by um, philosopher Nick Bostrom, right? So now it's like it says, you know, I can't really give you an in-depth answer, but you know, if you decide to include this in your TED talk, so so notice how it's like it's talk. Oh wait a second, 
it's like it was too much it was a network error okay um but notice how i think it's just the servers everybody's like trying to get on uh open ai these days so so the servers are probably overloaded but notice how it was talking to me like a human being and it's not just like randomly going out there copy and pasting things from a google search and i think that is what makes this platform so exciting and number nine would be coding help now right up to this point we've just explored like writing stuff okay but what's really powerful about chat uh, gpt is that it can code stuff as well so i could type in like explain this thing in javascript all right in c plus plus and what it would do is is this now typically the load speed is like almost immediate but i think that because of the server right now it's taking a while so notice how it's literally explaining this thing in java now because i don't do coding i don't know if this actually makes sense so you'll notice that another thing that ChatGPT can do is it can fix your code for you. Notice how you could literally paste a code in there and ChatGPT will give you feedback on the code that needs to be edited or changed based on what it is that you put in there. And finally, number 10, how can you make money utilizing ChatGPT? Well, use it to help you get a job right take a look at this i have an interview at facebook for a role as social media manager could you provide me some interview questions that i may be asked so take a look at this right here are some potential interview questions that you might be asked like can you describe your experience managing social media and campaigns what metrics do you use to measure the success right how do you approach social media strategy as a brand or for a business what are the latest trends provide some examples how do you handle negative feedback like these are real questions right real legitimate questions that you can repurpose or you know um prepare yourself for an actual interview right and the crazy thing is like once you have this you could literally also edit this and say help me write a cover letter for a potential job at facebook for a role as social media manager let's take a look and see what happens help me write a cover letter for a potential job at facebook for a role as a social media manager there you go right dear hiring manager i'm I'm, uh, I'm writing to apply for a social media manager at facebook as an experienced social media profession with a passion for driving engagement building brand awareness um i'm excited about like here's a crazy thing guys this i'm just listing down 10 things in here and i know that this is still just the infancy of the potential one whether it is building an entire platform that utilizes this technology whether it is utilizing the strategies that i've shown you here whether it's for content marketing whether it's drive sales whether it's affiliate marketing guys let me know in the comments below which feature do you think is the most exciting one for you and as always i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to be able to really get good at this new platform be sure to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video